The municipal elections in France are being seen as a test of President Francois Hollande's popularity. More than a third of people who could have voted didn't, and most of those who did cast their ballots opted for the opposition or for the far right, a slap in the face of Hollande and the ruling Socialist Party. The Socialists and their allies won just 38 percent of the national vote, compared to 47 percent for opposition Conservatives. But it was France's anti-immigrant national front led by Marine Le Pen that made big strides, securing 5 percent support and taking control of a former socialist bastion in the north. To head off the national front, the socialists say they'll join forces with the Greens and the Communist Party ahead of the second round of voting on March 30th. The French Prime Minister is appealing to voters to close ranks against the far right. In a few towns where the National Front is in a position to win the second round, all who support democracy and the Republic have a duty to prevent them from doing so. The increasing popularity of the National Front comes as Hollande battles approval ratings hovering around 19%. People just rejected the Socialist Party as a whole. Regarding the National Front, the results don't say much. I don't think it corresponds truly to the opinion of French people. It's a logical result in regards to how people here feel. The support for the National Front is something quite dangerous for the future, but I think now the Socialist Party is paying for its denial of reality. Anger over high taxes and rising unemployment have left voters feeling disenchanted and looking at other options. The National Front was represented in 600 municipalities. Only one French person out of three had the possibility of voting for them. So the score of 5% for the National Front, for the whole of France, is just window dressing compared to its real potential. So the next six days will see all parties rallying voters for support. And given the initial results, the socialists will have their work cut out for them. Catherine Stansel, Al Jazeera.